Hi guys, so again this is Sir Lian, Bukong Bata, and Patatas Mambo 1, let's go sasabay ka ba? Sasabay! And guys, makikita niyo naka-sinulog shirt ako ngayon because I am in Cebu. So this is the first time I had sinulog and it was really fun. Okay, so parang saya. So thank you very much a lot ng Cebuano sa nag-accommodate sa amin. So most likely dun sa mga ano, sa streets, sobrang okay talaga para friendly lahat. So ngayon, we're back at the Rasha vlog that I'm doing and the question about today is about the plastic anemia. So this is a SATA question, okay, NCLEX level. So ang mahirap sa SATA guys is select all the apply. Ang mahirap dun sa SATA is dapat sakto lang yung pipiliin mo. Bawal yung sobra, bawal din yung kulang. Dapat sakto lang, parang pagmamahal. Dapat sakto lang, parang hindi ko masasaktan. Tara! Okay? So therefore guys, most likely we are discussing this question. So let's recap the question and I've posted this as well in my Instagram account and that is Tonton Julian. So therefore guys, at, ah, sorry, Tonton Julian. Okay, so I post questions usually here. So follow that account so that you will follow and para mas mabasa mo yung question. Kasi most likely, I won't go, uh, I wrote it in the best way possible so I hope you can read it as well. In terms na hindi mo mabasa, nandun siya sa Instagram account ko story and you can look at the options provided. Now, going back, SATA, mahirap na ako na tanong. SATA, malapit sa word na satanas. So, mahirap siyang tanong but we will answer it accordingly. So, let's read the question first. So, therefore guys, RN is taking care of patients diagnosed with aplastic anemia. Which of the following are proper management? Select all that apply. Okay, so tingin ko guys, papalitan ko na yung mga Indian na nagtuturo sa YouTube. And this will be the Filipino version. So I'll do my best to discuss the questions in English. So I just forgot to do it a while ago kasi sa introduction. But right now, I'll be doing it in English, in English so that our uh, watchers and our audience as well that is about to take the NCLEX, NCLEX would also be able to follow. But most likely guys, this question will be also applicable in local board exams and as well in other exams, parametrics, gauge, and all. So let's discuss, okay? So select all the apply. So yung mamark lang natin doon tama mali. First, isolate patients on a room with positive pressure, okay? So first and foremost guys, we have to discuss what is a plastic anemia. A plastic anemia guys is an example of anemia wherein there is significantly bone marrow depression and again that's bone marrow depression and we know that the bone marrow is comprised of your significant cells namely your rbc's okay which is responsible for your oxygenation okay and as well as your wbc's okay which is uh, important for your immune system okay for your immune system and as well as your platelet levels and your platelet levels, guys, with concern is your bleeding parameters and your bleeding concerns. Now, in a plastic anemia, because the bone marrow is depressed, everything would be depressed. So therefore, there will be decreased RBC, decreased WBC, and decreased platelet levels. Now, if there will be, oh, sige, dito ka lang muna kang panjulia. So therefore, guys, there will be decreased levels of WBC, RBC, and platelet. And most likely, guys, that will significantly cause what you call your pan-cytopenia. Okay? So, ginagawan ko talaga ng effort, guys, so that you would really look at the writing properly. So, forgive me for my poor handwriting. Okay? So, that's pan-cytopenia. So, if you would look at this, pan-cytopenia just means that there is depressed RBCs, WBC platelets. Now, what is the impact on the client? The impact on the client will be there will be decreased RBC levels. Now, there will be decreased oxygenation status. And if there's decreased oxygenation status, there will be episodes of fatigue and activity intolerance. Now, if there's activity intolerance, mabilis siya magpagod. The patient would have problems in tolerating your activities of daily living. So, mabilis siya magpagod. Ayun. So, kung may mga jowa kayo na mabilis magpagod, bigyan mo ng oxygen via mouth to mouth, charing! Okay. So therefore guys, therefore there will decrease RBC and that will be decreased uh, our oxygenation level. Now, decreased WBC levels would also entitle you to decrease immune system levels. So therefore guys, the patient would be prone to infection. 
Next, platelet levels will be also decrease and therefore the patient is prone to bleeding. So everything is decreased. That's what you call pancytopenia. Remember guys, in your exams, vocabulary is important and as well as your grammar. Why? If you can't understand the question, how would you understand the answer? For the question itself so therefore guys grammar is important vocabulary is important so another term for decrease rbc wbc and platelet levels is pancytopenia and vocabulary for me is also sexy so remember that okay so imagine if you have a vocabulary vocabulary that is really wide that's really good for your conversations and also for your exams now therefore guys if there will be decreased levels of everything that will entitle us to significant person management and that will be the question Okay, again, a plastic anemia, decreased bone marrow levels, decreased RBC, WBC platelet, decreased RBC, oxygenation status will be problem, WBC, immune system will be problem, uh, problem and as well as platelet levels, there will be bleeding tendencies. Now, the question will be select on the top line. Now, this question, guys, would entitle to different management and will choose the correct uh, management for the patient and the perfect fit for, perfect fit for the patient. Now, first and foremost, guys, isolate patient on a room with, with positive pressure. So the keyword here is positive pressure. If there's positive pressure, guys, most likely, there will be difference between positive pressure room and negative pressure room. Now, let's understand. Positive pressure room, guys, means that the air will go outside the room if you open the door. On another hand, negative pressure means that if you open the door, the air will enter. So what's more ideal for the patient? The patient has decreased immune system. So what would you want to do? Would you want the air to go inside? Or would you want the air to go outside? Okay? So most likely what is go inside, go inside is positive. Uh, sorry, go inside is negative pressure. Okay? Go outside is positive pressure. Now, if you would allow the air to go inside, that's negative pressure, guys. That's most likely for patients with airborne problems. Positive pressure room, guys, is for patients with immunocompromised status. So again, what is ICC? ICC in your questions will be immunocompromised client. Okay, so positive pressure means the air will go outside if you open the room and that will prevent significant entry of possible infections that can cause problems to the client, which is also called as nosocomial infections. Okay, so therefore, guys, the first question, the first option rather will be correct. Okay, so again, first option, isolate patients with uh, patients on the room with positive pressure. Positive pressure means going outside. Uh, the air is going outside, therefore that's ideal for patients with immunocompromised status. Negative pressure on the other hand, guys, I will write it down here. Negative pressure, guys, is the air will go inside the room, guys, and that's for patients with airborne disorders. We'll discuss airborne disorders on other, uh, other videos upcoming videos and what is their significant management. Next, okay, administer epogen intradermal as ordered. Now, epogen, guys, is entitled to increase your RBC production. Epogen is correct. Epogen is correct because the patient has decreased RBC levels. But then again, guys, the administration tool in the option is intradermal. And if it's intradermal, guys, most likely that's a wrong answer. Why? Because epogen is usually used as subcutaneous. Okay? Epogen is administered via the subcutaneous route, making this option wrong. So therefore, this is a wrong option. Okay? Epogen is correct. Don't get me wrong. Epogen is correct for RBC levels, but IB is wrong. So the correct answer is subcutaneous, making this option wrong. Going furthermore, okay, wear particulate respirator when taking care of the patient. Now, particulate respirator, guys, is another term for N95. Okay, and N95 masks, guys, are used only for patients with airborne disorders. Now, if it's for airborne disorders, guys, most likely our patient has no airborne disorders, but rather a patient has uh, decreased levels of RBC, WBC, platelet. So, therefore, guys, Respirator, particulate respirator, when you use it on the client as a nurse, if you enter the room and you use a particulate respirator, that will only be a waste of resources. So this option is wrong because most likely the correct answer is you wear a surgical mask or regular mask for the patient. Now, allow patient to play rugby. Keyword would be rugby. Okay, guys, 
rugby is a sport wherein there is and there is a lot of contact. Okay? And contact sports, guys, are not allowed because of your problem with platelet levels, which will entitle to the patient having bleeding tendencies because of the contact sports. Now, rugby, a contact sport, is not allowed on the client because the patient has also decreased platelet levels, making that option also wrong. Number five, put surgical mask on the client during transfer. Now, I'll erase this part so that we'll have a clearer picture of the options and ratio for this one. So therefore, guys, surgical mask, I told a while ago, surgical mask, regular mask is correct, okay? For the patient and as well as for the nurse. So, surgical mask on client during transfer. Therefore, guys, you will put on surgical mask on the client during transfer so that we would avoid the patient having infection. And that is what you call your reverse isolation. Now, reverse isolation means that the patient will be isolated in such a way that the patient would be wearing mask during transfer or during outside the, of the, outside the room of the client so that the patient would avoid your infection. So make this option correct. Next, ensure no flowers are taken in the room. Now, what's the concept about flowers? Uh, patients not allowed to have flowers because you're bitter enough because it's Valentine's Day and you don't have your flowers? No, the flowers are not allowed, guys, because of the possibility of your opportunistic infection. Okay? Opportunistic infection. We normal clients with good immune system can receive flowers or potted plants because we have good immune system. But for the patient having a plastic anemia with decreased WBC levels, of course, the patient would be prone to this opportunistic infection. Opportunistic infection, guys, are weak infection, but can also entitle problems to the client because of the decreased immune system, because of the decreased WBC levels. Therefore, ensure no flowers in the or in the room is also a correct answer. Next, instruct patient to check food labels up carefully. So therefore, guys, if you looked at this option and you were wondering, what's this for? Are we checking for what? Are we checking for vitamin B6, vitamin B9, iron? No. The answer is this option is entitled to checking the food labels for possibility of alcohol levels. Now, alcohol levels, guys, are promptly checked for the client, very checked for patients with problems in terms of alcohol sensitivity. Okay, alcohol sensitivity, that option is for alcohol sensitivity. Specifically for patients taking disulfiram because that can cause alcohol sensitivity reactions. So therefore guys, food labels accordingly is not applicable to the question because our question is about the plastic anemia. Yes, this is correct. This is correct. Don't get me wrong. This is correct for alcohol sensitivity but not for a plastic anemia. Therefore guys, that option is wrong. Next, use transport. So that is the keyword. So guys, you would look upon this. I am discussing you with critical words in the option so that we could answer it effectively. Now, use transport on client wound dressing. Guys, what's a transport? A transport, guys, is a, is a tape used for wound dressing, guys. But we are only allowed, if you have decreased platelet levels, our references would tell us that you are only allowed to use paper Based tape. Paper based tape, guys, specifically your micropore. Now, paper based tapes and micropore prevent bleeding, guys, because they are not that adhesive. Okay? If we're talking about adhesive in Tagalog, madiket. So, therefore, guys, micropore is not that adhesive. Therefore, that prevents bleeding on the client because of the display that levels, because of the past anemia. So, transfer is wrong. Okay, the correct answer is micropore. Next, raise side rails at all times. There are two critical words to be, dis to be discovered here. First, all times. If you see these words, all times, never, all the time, always, forever, walang forever, <laughs> okay? Those words are significantly called absolute words. And in test taking strategies, these words are most likely wrong. I'm not saying they are always wrong, but most likely wrong. So let's read it carefully. If you 
see absolute words that entitles you to read the question or option effectively and carefully. Now, raise side rails at all times. If you raise the side rails, guys, you are preventing falls. And if you're preventing falls, you're preventing the patient to have an injury. So that's the rule. Don't fall so don't so you won't get hurt. So bawal mo fall bakit ka masaktan. Charat. Okay? So therefore, guys, raise side rails, guys, is significantly correct for safety issues. Now the patient has a plastic anemia. There are no safety issues with the client. So safety issues is correct for seizure clients, for stroke clients, for elderly clients, but not applicable for a plastic anemia. This option looks correct, but not applicable to the question. Now safety is the concern. If we would correct this option, so this, the significant correct option will be pad side rails. So why pad side rails? If you pad the side rails, guys, you will put the foam in it. So if you pad side rails and the patient bumps his uh, arm on the side rails, that will prevent bruising. And pad side rails is correct for the option of decreased platelet levels. So therefore, number nine is wrong. The correct answer for number nine should not be raised side rails, but rather pad side rails. Next, instruct the Italian worker to hand soft diet meals on the client. Okay? So therefore, guys, this option is kind of confusing. The option is not about the soft diet. The option is about the dietary worker handing the meal tray to the client. So therefore, guys, if you let the dietary worker hand the meal tray on the client, that will only increase the exposure of patient with other people. And exposing the patient with other people puts a higher risk on contacting infections. So if we would correct this option, the correct option would be the dietary worker hands over the meal tray to the nurse or to the LPN or to the nursing assistant which will be handed to the client. So therefore guys, we nurses should protect the client at all times because most likely we would be the last line of defense for the client. So this option, number 10, is also wrong. Why? Because uh, the dietary worker shouldn't have uh, handed the meal tray to the client, but rather the dietary worker should meal, hand the meal tray to the pay, to the nurse rather or LPN or nurse assistant. Nurse assistant, then that will be handed to the client. So that option is wrong. Number ten is wrong. Okay. Last option, number eleven. Instruct to avoid eating kiwis, bananas, and avocados. Another option would be another another option that is kind of confusing. So if you thought. Okay, I'll try to read your uh, mind. If you saw this question in my Instagram account and when you answered it and you thought, maybe this option is correct because patients with decreased w WBC levels has decreased immune system. If there's decreased immune system, we're not allowed to eat fresh fruits, vegetables. Kiwis, avocados, bananas are fresh fruits. Therefore, this option is correct. If that is your thinking, and if I read your mind properly, therefore you over, you perform overthinking. Now, now, now that's a problem in terms of your answer, uh, taking an exam. You're overthinking questions. We just answer it accordingly. Number eleven is wrong. Okay, eating kiwis, bananas, and avocados should not be avoided. Why? Because this option is for patients with latex allergy. Now, it has been found on researches that if you have latex allergy, guys, most likely you're also allergic to kiwis, bananas, and avocados. Therefore, that will be avoided in patients with latex allergy. Going back to the option, it's not about latex allergy, but rather a plastic anemia. Therefore, guys, you can allow the patient to eat fruits. Just as long you let the patient peel off the fruit or wash the fruit effectively, not allowing the patient to eat fresh fruits because of the decreased immune system that can cause opportunistic infection because of the tendency of immune system problems because of the plastic anemia. So therefore guys, okay, so therefore guys, those will be the options provided and provided the ratio for each one, but let's have a recap of the options provided and what's the best answer. Okay, again, a plastic anemia, what's a plastic anemia? Plastic anemia has decreased bone marrow, therefore the, uh, decreasing the RBC, WBC, and platelet levels, called pancytopenia. Therefore, if there's decreased RBC, oxygenation problem, WBC, immune system, decreased platelet, bleeding tendencies. 
recap of the options, what are the correct answers. First, isolate the patient when the room with positive pressure. Positive pressure, the air will go outside. Therefore, if the air will go outside, guys, that will entitle the patient to prevent infection because the patient will be immunocompromised. Therefore, number one is correct. Next, administer epigen. Epigen increases RBC production. That's correct. But IV is wrong because the option should be subcutaneous. So number two is wrong. Number three, wear particulate respirator. Again, guys, particulate respirator is also known as N95. Now, N95 is only used by the nurse or by the healthcare provider if the patient has airborne disorders. Example, measles, TB, and varicella. Chickenpox, shingles, those are the kinds of varicella. So number three is wrong. Number four, allow patients to play rugby. Rugby is an example of contact sports. Also wrong because of the patient's tendency to bleed because of the decreased plate depth levels. Number five, put surgical mask on the client during transfer is correct. Surgical mask, regular mask, most likely are, uh, are options that are correct because of the perform uh, because of performing reverse isolation. And that option is correct to prevent infection on a patient with immunocompromised status. Number also number five is correct. So, so far, we have one correct, two, three, four, wrong, five is correct. Number six, ensure no flowers are taken in the room. So guys, flowers are not allowed, potted plants are not allowed because of the possibility of opportunistic infection. And the patient has tendency to have infection because of the decreased immune system. Number six is also correct. Next, number seven, food labels should be checked carefully. That option is for patients with disulfiram reaction which causes alcohol sensitivity. Number seven is not applicable to aplastic anemia. Number eight, transport is a type of tape which is really adhesive and adhesive tapes are most likely have a tendency to cause bleeding on the client. So transfer is wrong, the correct option would be micropore. So therefore guys, number eight is also wrong. Number nine, raise side rails. Side rails is for safety, most likely, and all times is an absolute word. Side rails should not be raised for patients with aplastic anemia, but rather pad side rails. Pad side rails to prevent the possibility of bleeding because of decreased plate levels. Number nine is wrong. Number 10, instruct the dietary worker to hand the meal tray on the client is wrong. Why? The focus of the question is not a soft diet, but the dietary worker handing the meal tray to the patient that will increase the exposure of the patient to infection. So that's also wrong. The correct option would be dietary worker, LPN, NA, or RN that would hand it to the patient. Lastly, 11, instruct to avoid eating kiwis, bananas, and mocados. These fruits are tropical fruits which is not allowed for patients with latex allergy and not applicable for patients with aplastic anemia. So guys, all in all, number 11 is wrong because this is for latex allergy. So therefore, correct answers are only number 1, 5, and 6. So therefore guys, imagine we had 11 options sat a question but only three options are correct so therefore guys thank you very much for taking the time for viewing this video i think it's a bit long it's no uh there are no comedy comedy whatsoever and this is a low budget vlogging at the first but you know okay this will improve in time but this is Enflex level made easy by Sir Leon Boom Bata number one Patatas. Let's go. Okay, so guys, thank you very much. Please like and share this video to your friends who are about to take the local boards or international exams. This will be really helpful. So, guys, thank you very much. Sasabai kaba. Sasabai. Thank you very much and have a great day.